I have a lot to say. So today I want to talk about and share information regarding bad breath. So I'm going to talk based on experience, what I've discovered, what I learned, what has happened to me. Um, and by the way, it is not that dark in here. Um, see? But for whatever reason, when I snap, when I hit video, this is the lighting that I get. But I'm going to do this video, so I'm going to push through it. But anyway, I want to talk about bad breath. Historically, I thought that there's something that everybody dealt with. Morning breath was a norm. Some people more than others, but everybody had to be on their gen dental hygiene game. Uh, mouthwash, brushing several times, dental floss, bubble gums, um, mints, and things like that. The breath had to be checked throughout the day. But with my recent health discoveries, ironically, finding the intestinal parasites, I began a detox journey this entire year. And I found out just the other day that I don't have to deal with bad breath. And I'm not really um, heavy on my hygiene game as far as I don't brush like three times a day and things like that. I mostly brush uh, during, at night time, I use dental floss and I don't have odors coming out of my mouth. And this was because of the efforts that I did to get rid of and stump out the intestinal parasites, which were <clears throat> the formal uh, detox cleanse kit, the guy cleanse that was for my body, my kidneys and my liver, or my total body, I don't remember. But I know it focused on the kidneys and the liver. Um, the organic coffee enemas, which have been a blessing and a godsend and have treated a whole bunch of different um, symptoms and things that I was dealing with. Eliminating things from my diet, the fruits and vegetables, my food, the spices, the turmeric, the um, wheatgrass, the drinking of the water. And I am reaping the benefits of that. And one of the benefits is that I no longer have bad breath that I deal with all day long. <clears throat> Um, and let me just say, I do have dental things that I need to tend to, so it's not about having cavities and, you know, chipped teeth and things like that going on. It's about taking care of the insides. I learned that bad breath is a sign that there's something foul going on with the liver and a detox is needed. No one should have to treat their mouth and gargle with uh, baking powder. It's a baking soda, baking powder. No one should have to treat themselves with that. Brushing the teeth is enough. I think my health situation is dire and more severe than anyone else's that I know currently. And I am not dealing with um, bad breath anymore, although I did deal with it this time last year. And it's just from making changes in my diet and taking care of my body. And I think about that every time I smell someone with bad breath, you know, like what is going on on their insides. They're not understanding that their body is, is outcry for help. It's a smoke signal, a funky smoke signal to wake that person up and say, hey, take care of me through detoxing and through eating responsibly. I believe that that's all that I wanted to say. Until next time, thanks for watching.